Hello everyone, my name is Bison GB and welcome back to the sixth episode of my Terraria Christmas playthrough once again back with Viking Santa and he is a complete badass in the last episode we went on a major caving expedition and as you can quite clearly see we have explored pretty much the entirety of the underground snow biomes. I mean, uh, one thing I did notice is the sheer amount of snow uh, spider biomes in it. Look, there's one here. That's one. There's two, three, four, five. So, yeah, five spider biomes inside of the snow biome. Absolute craziness, man. Crazy, I tell you. Crazy. Oh, man. But today, my friends, today we have an end goal of defeating Skeletron. And then after we defeat Skeletron, we will be working on uh, expanding our little settlement. Because I want to have the cloth here. And the reason why I want to have the cloth here is so we can buy the familiar clothes. So I can make myself look like Santa Claus again. And then all will be good with the world. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, what we're now doing is exploring the world. Because we haven't actually done that yet. We've only really found the snow biomes, set down a settlement, and then just dug underground. We haven't really done a great deal of anything on the surface, but as you can clearly see, the snow biome continues all the way to here, which is pretty much correct, so that's cool. All right, so let's continue on. Got a corrupted desert. Now, we need to try and figure out where the dungeon is, because if we could find a dungeon, that'd be cool. Okay, another desert. Who knows? There might even be a desert temple in this uh, in this here world. Uh, eh, maybe not. Although, who knows? Who knows? That is the question. Who knows? So, one thing. If I remember correctly, you guys have always said that the snow biome spawns on the opposite side of the jungle biome. So, in terms of left and right, if the, uh, if the snow biome is on the left-hand side, the jungle is going to be on the right-hand side. So... By that logic, the dungeon should indeed be on this side. And it is! Look at that! It's right there! God damn! Right, okay. All is looking good. And it's only just turned night time as well. I think... How's the world looking? That is a very, very flat piece of world. I think we can do this. Let's do it. All right, Skeletron! Skeletony! You're gonna, you're gonna get wrecked by a snowball launcher, bud. I'm sorry, but it's, it's, it's what's gonna go down. It's going down. It's going down. Oh boy. Okay. He's looking a little bit worse for well. Look at that. 3600 health. Uh, let's use our buff potions. There we go. Well fed. And of course, extra defense. In fact, I'm pretty sure I get even more defense from the well fed buff as well. So, I believe we had 11 before. We now have 21 defense. 21 defense, and we don't even have a full set of any armor. <laughs> awesome. Oh man. Okay, everything is looking cool. Okay, obviously the reason why we're doing this is because I would like the Muramasa more than anything. Because by getting the Muramasa we can eventually, of course, have ourselves a Knight's Edge. Which would be nice, but it's not really a Christmas weapon. That's my only concern. So, I don't know whether I should allow myself it, honestly. I mean, when it comes to hard mode, you can get the Icicle and, of course, the Frost Brand. And, of course, you know, you can get Magical... Magical frost ice weapon, so those are things I can get, so I don't know. It could be cool. It could be cool. I think we could work something in. There's a lot of stuff in hard mode which you can get. So yeah, I mean look at this. He's now down to a thousand health. My health is pretty much up to scratch. It's awesome. I like it. I'm so glad this is in expert mode because otherwise I would be wrecked in the face right now. I will be so dead, it will be unbelievable. You couldn't even conceive how much death there would be. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, less than 100 health. Should we try and boomerang him for the last few hits? <laughs> I am being very, very confident and that's probably not a good thing. Ah, there we go. I done did it, I killed him. I killed him. Huh, that was easy. All right, oh hey, look, a water bolt straight away. Look at that. Could have used that for the fight actually, to be honest with you guys. Uh, right, how's that looking? So, that goes over there. Can I? Oh, I can break it. Okay, cool. So, I can make an alternate entrance if I want to, which I am going to do, because why not? So, let us go ahead, open this baby up, and, uh, yeah, everything else should be good to go. Wait, we're only five minutes into the episode? What the hell, man? I thought we <laughs> I thought we were a lot further than that. God damn! Alright, I mean, we can pretty much use our frost mirror to get back. 
which is easy money. I mean, it really is easy money. There's no other way to describe it. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting to uh, defeat Skeletron within the... Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Wait, what do you want? Caught in the jungle? I haven't even discovered the jungle yet. So, uh, you're a bit of a numbnut, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> what a dum-dum. All right, so the bad news is because we've got this guy here and this gal on the ground, we are going to need to construct at least three houses. Three houses in order to have a chance for the clothier to spawn. So, uh, yeah. Right, I'll tell you what, before making our way back, I guess it wouldn't hurt to make our way down here. See if we can find anything? Maybe some chests? Oh, chesty. Wow, that's a really... <laughs> Wow, true extent of that ocean biome. There's barely anything down ball there. That wouldn't be a very good place to take down Duke Fish from. I think he'd get enraged far too quickly. Right, anyways, uh, yeah, here we are back at the uh, back at the base, and I just killed Pedgrin again. God damn it! I keep doing that. It's not good. It's not good. It's not funny. It's not funny. Are you guys laughing? It's it's not a funny thing to laugh about. Not really. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> ah, my mind goes to weird places as it turns out. Right now, how's our wood situation looking? Uh, oh, we haven't got any. Well then, uh, I guess we're gonna have to get some then. Okay, so if we go down here, we're gonna start planting down some trees and these trees are going to serve the purpose of only being trees that I chop down. I don't really wanna chop down the ones on the right hand side because they've all got torches on them, man. I mean, why would I wanna do that? That'd be horrible. Right, boom. I'll tell you what, these bone torches don't half look bad, actually. I'm kind of alright with them. Hey, buddy! Alright, uh, we could potentially use a different material. Uh, wow, look at the amount of... Wow, wow, wow. Three stacks of ice blocks and almost a stack of snow blocks. Right. I know exactly what to do at this point. We need to get an ice machine and we need to chuck it down somewhere. Uh, that's sod it. I'm just gonna put it here for now. Right. Oh, wow. Look at the stuff we can make. Frozen table, frozen workbench, uh, chair. Oh, do you know what? We need regular torches. That's, that's why I can't make anything else, isn't it? Ah, right. I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's go for a journey into the regular biomes. There we go. We're gonna grab some materials, my friends. And I'll tell you what. I'm gonna continue doing this because obviously resource gathering isn't the most interesting thing to watch in the world. And I do acknowledge and appreciate that so yeah i'm gonna continue getting some resources and i'll bring you guys back once i'm ready to start building my friend Alrighty, guys i am back and here's the plan we are going to go for sort of a modular style build uh for those of you guys who watch born productions this uh, design might seem pretty familiar to you so yeah i mean i don't just don't see a reason why we shouldn't i mean we're going ahead and using ice bricks for the underside because obviously i don't have a great deal of uh, boy, I would, so, yeah, that's a thing. Okay, so all we've got to do is dig ourselves out a bunch of pods, and, uh, yeah, we should be good to go from there, my friends. So I'm going to go ahead and carry on digging out a whole bunch of rooms, and, uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back once ready to start going ahead and putting stuff in them, I guess. Ew! All that could happen, like, a few seconds after the last cut I just made. <laughs> Lol! Uh... Well then, that's a, that's a thing we now have to contend with. Got a goddamn goblin army coming after us. Ay ay ay. What is with those guys, man? All they want to do is kill me, and all I want to do is continue living. Is that too much to ask? Hmm? Let these blooming goblin dudes being a bunch of jerkbags getting up in my face and being like, Oh hey, I want to live in your settlement too. No! No, it's not your settlement. I'm so- Oh, well, everybody arrived. I thought I'd have a bit more time than that. What the hell? Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, it looks like we have some goblins to contend with, which means, of course, a lower chance of having the clothier spawn in because, you know, we'll have a chance of the goblin tinker spawning in instead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Hey, buddies. Wow, look at these guys. <laughs> Coming in battle formation. These blooming guys. They think they're so smart, don't they? They really do think they're quite smart. All right, here we go. Let's just pwn them all. Do, 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 do. I will not, well, Santa Claus will not be killed by these goblin folk. It is bad. Oh, Pedwin just got killed again. He's got a harpoon. Uh, oh, what the hell? <laughs> he just revealed a new cave. Thanks, buddy. 
Well, uh, there you go. That's uh, another use for the goblin army. Finding otherwise unexplored cave systems. Certainly interesting. Oh, well. Uh, how are we looking? 19%? Come on, man. I need to go quicker than that. 20%. I want it to be 100% now because these guys are just poop. They really are quite poop. Uh, I mean, I've defeated Skeletron before I've even defeated the blooming goblin army. I mean, you guys must be pretty embarrassed. I mean, it, in comparison to, like, other mobs, you've spawned in really late. So, you know, you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. You shouldn't be late. It's like being late for class. Can't do that. Can't do that. We're gonna get your butt kicked by the teachers. The teachers being me in this case. Yeah! Come on, fools! Alright, 32%. Ay, ay, ay. Right, I tell you what. We've all seen the Goblin Army invasion, like, probably a million and one times. So, I'm gonna go ahead and skip until this thing is done. Alright, guys. Here we go. We're just taking out the final stragglers of the Goblin invasion. And that should be it, right? Is that it, or is there another guy around? Alright, no, they're gone. <laughs> I was a bit confused because the music was still going, so yeah. That's what I was trying to listen out for. But anyways, guys, yeah. Let's get back to the digging, shall we, my friends? Alright, guys, I've done a bit of digging, and as you can see, I have three little pods set up. Now, obviously, these little areas here are where the doors are going to go, and obviously, we just need to uh, get ourselves a background put in, and of course, put in some furniture. So, without further ado, uh, obviously, the first thing I need to do is get myself an ice machine back out, because I dug up the one I did have. So, let's put that right there. Okay. Oh, look at all the stuff we can make. Oh, look at that frozen lantern. Yo! This thing could look awesome. Hmm. Who can actually do that? Frozen candle, frozen lamp. I like the sound of frozen lamps. Oh man, that looks so cool. Look at that. That is a seriously cool piece of furniture right there. Oh man. That's awesome. Okay, right. I need to get rid of that one and replace it. Uh, there. Okay, cool. And of course, we need to go ahead and get ourselves some tables and chairs and doors. So let's do this thing. Frozen doors. I have never worked with the ice furniture set before. So this is certainly something different for me, as well as probably something different for you guys. So yeah, I'm kind of happy with this. All right, uh, making ourselves some tables and chairs as you do. That is a seriously cool furniture set, man. I am loving this. Wow. <laughs> I love it, man. That is a seriously cool furniture set. Brilliant. Okay, so, uh, background walls. What background walls do we want? Ooh, what background walls do we want? That is the question. I'm thinking snow brick. Do you know what? I think we might actually go for this. Just uh, mirrored, so wood on the inside and snow brick walls on the outside. I think that could work pretty damn nicely. In fact, I'm pretty sure we've got some left. Yeah, there we go. Boreal. Uh, now we need some uh, Boreal walls again. Uh, yeah, that should do the job. And yeah, all we need to do is get these things all filled in. So, okay. Should be pretty easy. So, yeah, I mean, I guess while we're doing this, I just want to once again thank you guys for the amount of support you've been showing for this uh, little mini-series right here. It has been much, much appreciated, my friends. It really has. It's uh, it's, it's nice to see you guys embracing the, the variety content on this channel. It warms my heart. It genuinely does. So, yeah, it's 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 nice. It's nice. <laughs> oh, man. Python going on mushy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The world will probably end if Python goes mushy. <laughs> Oh dear. All right, come on, man. Let's get this thing done. All right. Just got to get this final room in. There we go. Shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. And obviously, two of these will pretty much immediately be used up by the two NPCs that are roaming the lands at the moment. So, yeah. Let's fill these in for now. Uh, uh, no. I don't want that to be walled in. Okay, cool. So let's do this wall up here. Uh, if I do that, maybe it'll be easier. Then it won't fill in the bottom part. There we go. And then we just need to do that row. Sweet. All right, guys. Oh, crap. I replaced something. I replaced something again. No. Don't misplace. That'll make me angry. Okay. And that's that wall done. All right, let's just make sure these are all suitable. Yes, they are. Cool. 
Okay, so now we just need to wait for a new guy to come in. And hopefully that'll be the cloth here. Except let's be honest, it probably won't happen. We'll probably get the nurse or something first. <laughs> oh, hey, banners. Nice, okay, we can put that down. Boom, sweet. Hmm, do you know what? I think we could probably do I think we can make another row. What do you guys think? I think I think we can make another row. Let's go ahead and do a mini montage of me going ahead and getting the second row going, my friends. Alright guys, I am back and as you can see we now have six of these modular houses going and they look pretty cool You can see I've actually gone ahead and gotten rid of some of the uh, lanterns because I didn't want all of the houses looking uniform I wanted to have like different things in each of them. So uh, I don't know. I thought that was a cool idea. Whatever the case uh, So we have some chests. We have uh, granite chests ice chests nice chests I like them because they're blue They all blue and I like blue blue is cool blue is a nice color Blue is the colour of ice. <laughs> and I, I just like it, man. Blue. Just all blue colours. I feel like it's a nice, elegant colour. Alright, uh, so this goes in here. I'll tell you, we'll have two chests in here. There we go. Sweet! So, yeah, I've got some more random furniture to put down. Uh, should we have a look at our furniture chest? Oh, no, that's all my house is taken up now. Ah, dang it. Dang, dang, dang it. I didn't really want that to be the case, man. Alright. Oh, well, uh, I guess we could put some uh, statues in these houses as well. I mean, why not? Let's do that. Uh, we could put a slime statue in there, perhaps. I'll tell you what, uh, let's get rid of that one and put a statue in there. There we go. You know, just, just decking out the place with uh, little bits of furniture. Because, you know, that's that's what you're doing to our, isn't it? It's, it's just what you do. Okay. Uh, maybe what I'll do in this one is I'll move the lantern over here there we go okay and yeah everything's looking cool and we've got a workbench in here this is a workbench just this little slab of ice that's just kind of what it is uh we can make a bathtub i've never made a ma bathtub before oh it's four blocks wide dang it man i can't i can't fit that in is there anywhere i could potentially fit it in i could fill it in here but it would mean getting rid of the lantern Eh, maybe a room without a lantern is cool. I'm okay with that. Get it cool. Ah, bad jokes. Bad jokes. They're continuing, folks. They're continuing. Don't worry, your faces. I'm here all night. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Right, there we go. That's, that's looking nice, isn't it, man? That really is looking cool. All right. Yeah, all looking good. Alrighty, guys, on that note, we are going to be ending the episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like right in, my friends. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But uh, yeah, aside from that, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode.